and welcome to another video. I am Debbie. Today I have a Kidding Up of Oreo by Eve Zett and this is from Diamond Art Club and that is what this is going to look like. It is a very small one. Um, I do have an unboxing that I will put the link in the eye in case you're interested in. This is only a 17 centimeter by 17 centimeter and I really kept going back and forth trying to decide if I wanted to kit this up and it does have 20 colors which I think is a lot for this small kit but I decided to go ahead and kit it up I love to kit up and I was going to do just one color and just do the whole thing by color and decided no because if I miss a color then I'm going to have all these open bags and there's going to be a possibility that I spill them or your dog walks by and, what, and its tail hits it or you know something's gonna happen and I'm gonna have drills everywhere and then I want to keep these if I have any left over so decided I'll go ahead and kit up and I do love to kit up so it wasn't that wasn't a really hard decision for me but it is a very small one I just had my scissors okay I think I'm ready I have my scissors I have my little trash can I just love this little trash can. It's a real tiny one that I use for my, just for plastic and things. And then I can dump that into our recycling so it works out very well. I am using these little containers here and it's linked underneath my description. They're from Amazon. I absolutely love these. Even though they're smaller, I really do like using these. And I like using the little cubes too. That's also there. This kit has one AB. And I'm really surprised this kit has 20 colors because that's a lot of colors for this small kit. But it is a very colorful cat. So I can see why it's a lot of colors. It won't take me very long to do I do plan on doing this one in between the large one that I'm finishing up and then getting back to my large diamond painting Deutschland. And so once I finish the one I'm working on now, I'm going to work on this one and then I'll start back on another large one. But I need a break in between. Because the large one, it's gone by really fast. But it would be nice to say that I have a completion and not start on the Diamond Painting Deutschland one that's going to take me a while too. I still have a lot to do on that one. And I'm determined to get that one finished February, March time frame, hopefully. I'm not going to hold myself to it, but it would be nice. Of course, this one has a little bit of static. There's also a, looks like an arms drill. That was stuck in that bag and I will get that whenever I go to lay some drills down so I'm not worried about that right now most of these though just looking at them before I pick them up they don't have that much static I shouldn't say that I knew I shouldn't have said that these are clinging to the bag a really pretty color this is gonna be a really bright and fun but I really hope it doesn't have a lot of static there's not that many drills so I don't want to fight this little kit I really don't but if push comes to shove I'll do it I'm getting kind of good at fighting static since I've had to do it so much lately I don't think I've ever done a kit this small even like the discount ones and I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna include the partials but they were even they were larger than 17 by 17 Got a couple here on the table it seems like on some of my prior kits Diamond Art Club has been a little on the I don't want to say stingy but with the diamonds a couple of kits I have been short 
and I've had some in my stash, so that was good. It's one reason why I saved my drills, one of those just in case moments. And yeah, I could contact Diamond Art Club, but I don't want to sit and wait in hopes that I am going to, you know, get drills. I know I'd get them, but it may take a couple of weeks, and when I'm close to being done or I'm in a section, I want to get that finished and not just put it over the side and wait until the drills come in. Because if I do that, I'm afraid that I may not get back to it when I'm really in the mood to work on it. So hopefully I will have enough drills on these because I'm not so sure that I have these particular colors in my stash. Ooh, that is sideways. That looks rough. I did not put washi on these because I haven't had any problems with Diamond Art Club, the sticker sticking. Um, in fact, it's been the opposite on my Retro Santa Believe. Those stickers would not stay on my, on my containers at all. And I heard other people had the same problem. So I'd rather them stay on than not on at all, but I also don't want to have to fight them to cut off. I don't think this is all going to fit in here, and I have plenty of containers. I will just put it at the end, and then I will be sure to label it so I know what it is. Oh, this is going to have static. Uh, okay, here we go. There's the one I'm going to put down here, and then I will be sure to label these. I'm afraid this one's going to be ugly. And this one's a full bag. The ones that are smaller bags, it's not too, well, it's not too bad. I do see, if you don't know what static is, that's static. See how they're sticking over onto the plastic? They are hanging on. They do not want to come out. And then when they do, they go everywhere. That's why I have a tray here. I'm really good about not spilling drills most of the time, but with the static, I'm not. I usually get drills everywhere because of the static. Okay, so put those down at the bottom. That is 701. Now I need 702. That was the largest bag that was in this kit. All the others don't have that much in there. It's going to be fun and kind of kitting this down because there's not going to be much to kit down, I'm sure. That's a little bit of static there. I'm really scared not to get them all out. Let's see, that does not want to come out. Okay. I guess it could be worse. Um, let's see, 7, what did I say? 7, 18. I did bring some dryer sheets, or I have dryer sheets in my craft room, but I really was hoping I wouldn't have to use them. But I have them on standby if I need them. These are the new Diamond Art Club drills. They're really shiny. Let's see, 762. The one really good thing about this kit, other than me having it completed rather quickly is it looks like there's going to be quite a bit of color blocking on the border of this. The cat, not so much. That's where all these different colors are going to go, but I will be able to color block. I will be able to practice on my color blocking and I will be able to use my 15 multi-placer, which I have not used yet. I haven't been able to use yet because I haven't had anything that I could really use for a 15. So I'm gonna get to practice and that's gonna be fun. We'll see how that goes. That's a pretty blue. And I've got 820. I heard from Daphne at Diamond Painting Anonymous 
that there is a Diamond Art Club challenge going around. And I'm trying to get some information on it. I haven't seen anything. So I don't know if it's like an official Diamond Art Club challenge or not. But I'm going to look into it. So if you know anything about that, let me know. Oh, and these are jumping like little jumping beans. I mean, really. When my daughter was little, they had jumping beans. And I think she was in like kindergarten, first grade. And she loved those things. And they were just like a toy. And that was little, they would just jump. You'd pick them up and they would jump. So they thought it was so funny. And, um... When I see these diamonds and they go all over the place and they're jumping around, I think of their little toy on jumping beans. That was a long time ago. I don't know how that came up. Sometimes things just pops up randomly. Okay, let's see. There's that one. I have just about four more to go. Not much at all here. Okay. I am going to put this larger photo here, this sticker of the canvas. I'm going to put that in my in my logbook. I would prefer to put the smaller ones actually in my logbook that Diamond Art Club includes in their kits, but I'm using those to put at the end of my boxes so when they are on my shelf, I can see what they are. And I have enough space in my log book because I'm using a larger size this year. And I went ahead and just put the larger photos on the back. So at least it's there. I would just prefer it to be a little bit smaller, but I don't put the whole sticker on. Like, I'll just put the actual, just this, I'll cut this out and just put the square here. And then I have all the information already written down, so I don't have this whole thing. So, I need to do that too. 3818. Let's see, this one is, is 3853. Oh, there it is. Okay. I need to show you my log book. I will do that on another, another video. I'm not sure which one, but I really do like it. I made it and I, so far it's working out very well. 3864. Oh, this one has a lot of static too. Sometimes if you shake it, it does tend to help. And sometimes it doesn't. Not horribly bad. If I do it this way, it might be easier because this one does have more, more static. And I'm not the only one that's having problems with static. I have these two backwards. I'm not the only one that's having problems with static. I'm watching other content creators and they're having problems with static as well. So I don't know what the issue is. I don't know how that can be corrected. Um, and it's not just Diamond Art Club. It is other companies. And I know that they're not putting the holes in the bags like they used to. And they said that they thought that helped because of the air that was able to get through. But I don't know if that's it or not. And it could just be weather. I'm going to get these out of the way. Those are the ones that were jumping around. And then I can show you. Okay. See, there is not much at all in this little kit took longer to kit up than it probably will to complete it but I can also throw this in my bag and take it with me and I do like the fact of that as well because I can take it and work it on my lunch hour if I want to. I've been reading on my lunch hour and when I have extra time at work um, I've been reading instead of taking a small diamond painting lately um, but I may take this one so that way at least it will be kitted up and it will be ready to go. I am going to put two labels at the bottom as soon as I am done with this video. But that's what it looks like clear. 
And that's why I like this too. You can see the colors, even if it's closed, you can see the colors. I also will put on the outside here, I have a sticker. I use a um, repositionable sticker. I will put what the name of the kit is. And so that way, if it gets um, moved, then I will know exactly what kit this goes to because I have several kitted up that I'm working on and I have several that are in these kind of containers. So I wanna make sure that I do not get my drills confused. I have done that before and it took me forever to find out what drills those were and I'm not going to do that again. Thanks so much for spending time with me today and keeping me company while I kitted up this cute little small snack size canvas. I hope that um, you have a great rest of your week and until next time, happy diamond painting, bye.